Hello dear students and good morning to all of you. Today we are going to start the second chapter of civics and the chapter is prejudice and discrimination. Students in the previous chapter we learn about diversity. We learn about the meaning of diversity means the differences that exist among us and we have also seen that how India is such a diverse nation. In this chapter, we are going to learn about some more new terms. So, let's have a look on the content first. We are going to learn about prejudice, stereotypes, discrimination, types of prejudices and discrimination, discrimination and inequality, equality in the constitution and last children who are special so our first topic is what is prejudice so students there are many things that makes us what we are like how we live the languages we speak what we eat where the games we play and the festivals we celebrate all these things make us unique or different from any other person. So every one of us is unique and different from each other in many ways. Sometimes when we meet people who are very different from us, we may find them strange and unfamiliar. Sometimes we also form certain attitudes and opinions about others who are not like us. So, prejudice is an attitude that means to judge other people negatively. What is prejudice? Prejudice is an attitude of judging someone or other people negatively or see them as inferior. For example, if we speak Hindi, it is okay. But if we will start thinking that Hindi is the best language and other languages are not important. So what we are doing, we are judging all other languages negatively. As a result, we might not respect people who speak other languages. Or we do not like to speak other languages. So this is what is prejudice. Now let's have a look what is exactly prejudice is. What does it actually mean? So it means before knowing any person if we judge them or when we don't have any knowledge or any idea about that person but still we think something wrong about them then that is prejudice so prejudice is basically to judge someone in a negative manner or see them in an inferior way it means we are judging someone before knowing or meeting that person so this is prejudice now Let's have a look. Prejudice is preconceived opinion. Preconceived as it is in the name only. Prejudice. That means we are judging someone before meeting that person. Prejudice is preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Next, people may decide they do not like someone because of their skin, caste, religion, sex or region. So students, we can be prejudiced about many things. People's religious belief, the color of their skin, the region they come from, the accent they speak in. All these things or in any way if the other people is different from us, we can make prejudgments regarding that person. So it means to judge other people negatively or to see them as inferior 
without knowing or meeting them. Now, it is unfavorable opinion that is formed without knowing the actual facts. So, this is prejudice. In your book, one story is given. So, Mansi's parents and grandparents are very unhappy. Her uncle, who lives in USA, has just informed them that he will be marrying a girl from Africa who is his colleague. So, Mansi's parents and grandparents are not happy because her uncle, who lives in USA, he wants to marry an African girl. They have known each other for the past four years. African auntie, Mansi was too excited. But she was surprised when her grandmother cried out. Why an African girl? Anil could have married an Indian girl who stays in America. I am sure this girl is too cunning and selfish. How can her new auntie be bad and selfish just because she belongs to some other country? So, Mansi wondered. Grandma has not even met her. Why is she being so unfair? So, when Mansi's parents and grandparents know about this thing, that Mansi's uncle is going to marry an African girl, then without meeting that particular girl, Mansi's grandparents or grandmother, grandma, actually start thinking that, since the girl, that girl belongs to Africa, that means she will be cunning and selfish. She will not be good. So, it is prejudice that before meeting that girl, Mansi's grandma already make a judgment regarding that girl. So, that is prejudice. There are lots of examples regarding prejudice we can see around us. Like, People in the cities led a very comfortable life. It is not necessary that all the people those who are living in cities led comfortable life. They are lazy and do not want to work hard. Is it real that the people those who live in cities do not work hard? People in the villages are superstitious and backward. We always have a type of judgment regarding to the people those who belong to village that if the person is belonging to village, he will not be educated. They are against any kind of development. All uneducated people are rude, is it? All uneducated people are not rude exactly. We should not mix with people who are very different from us. So all these are the examples of prejudices. Here some more are there, like all people those who belong to village are uneducated and uncivilized. People in cities only care about money, not about people. Black people are not beautiful, women are weak. All these are the prejudices that we make before meeting the person firstly. So, this is what we call prejudices. Students, why should we know about prejudices? Why we should learn about this term? Why we are learning about this? Because prejudice is a very unhealthy attitude. We should get rid of all kinds of prejudices and try to judge people only after interacting with them personally and positively. We should judge people positively. If you are not knowing the person, we should not judge them. This is what we call prejudices. Now, Prejudice, it is written here, I bet he can't do maths. Why can you, how can you think that a person cannot do maths without knowing about that person? So, this is what we call prejudices. Now, this is also when we start judging person with their religion on the basis of their religious beliefs before meeting that person, that is also an example of prejudice. Now, one new term is going, we are going to learn that is stereotypes. So, what now our next topic is stereotypes. So, what is stereotypes? Students, stereotypes is when, is something when we make 
one image regarding someone in our mind. It is based on that when we find one person bad or cruel or something like that, so we formed an opinion that that from which community that person belong, that whole group or whole community will be like that only. So stereotype is when we assign some qualities to a group of people thereby forming a particular image of them that is prejudice that that means when we assign some qualities to a community or a group of people so that is stereotype because of prejudices we have certain opinions about a group of people when we consider every person of the group to be like that we call that stereotype when we form a general opinion or an assumption or an imagination what we make in our mind about a person or group of people or that community that is stereotypes the thought based on idea that everyone in that particular group will look or act in the same manner that is what we call prejudice sorry stereotype now what is a stereotypes to fix people in one image is stereotype based on prejudices we have certain opinions about a group of people when we assign some qualities to a group of people based on idea that everyone in that particular group will look or act in the same way this is what we call prejudice that means when we give some qualities to a particular group or to a particular community that is prejudice stereotype so let's have a look i am giving you something from that it will be more easier for you to understand i am providing you one activity to understand what stereotype exactly is so students i'm i'm providing you some sentences what you have to do is arrange the following statements given below in two sections the statements are they are well behaved they are soft spoken and gentle they are physically strong they are naughty they are good at dance and painting they like playing cricket and football they love playing with dolls and kitchen set they don't cry their favorite color is blue their favorite color is pink they are good at cooking they are emotional so students you have to arrange these sentences in two columns one column belongs to boys and one column belongs to girls so you will do it by yourself but let's have a look i hope that all of you are going to do this only now in the boys column they are physically strong they are naughty they like playing cricket and football their favorite color is blue they don't cry regarding to girls they are well behaved they are soft spoken and gentle they are good at dance and painting they love playing with dolls and kitchen set their favorite color is pink they are good at cooking they are emotional so what we are doing here we have assigned some qualities to boys and some qualities to girls on the basis of our experiences so what we are seeing here that we have without knowing the particular boy or girl we assign qualities to them you have always listen you might listen this thing also that sometimes when your brother or a boy started crying so your mother usually say that no stop crying why or why you are crying like a girl boys do not cry all these are the basic stereotypes that we can see around us we always think that a boy is physically strong they must be naughty they will be good at sports girls do not like to play sports boys drive good girls do not know how to drive all these things are the stereotypes that we form 
for the whole community for every boy we have assigned some qualities and for every girl we have assigned some qualities so if a boy want to pursue his career in classical dance then the people start saying that classical dance is not meant for boys this is something that belongs to girls or if a boy wants to pursue his career in cooking or if he want to become a chef then also people will say that that why you want to become a chef just become be an engineer doctor this is the career that suits a boy so all these things this is what we call stereotype when we assign some qualities to a group of people this is what we call stereotypes now the new term that we are going to learn is discrimination now what is discrimination so students we learn about stereotypes and we learn about prejudice so we learn that prejudice is basically to judge someone and stereotype is basically to assign some qualities to some particular group and when we really start doing all these in action it becomes discrimination when we start giving form or when we start acting according to our prejudices and stereotype ideas we start discriminating people that means we start behaving differently with those people so what is discrimination it is action that comes through our ideas discrimination means when we think something wrong or negative about someone so it is the prejudice but when we express that feeling then it becomes discrimination so basically there are many kinds of discrimination exist you can see what is discrimination making choices about how we treat other people if our mind is saying that since that person skin is black that means that person is not good so what we will do now according to our ideas we start treating that people differently now discrimination can be based on real or relevant information also or it can be based on prejudices stereotypes also discrimination is the behavioral component that means when we it is an action when we start separating someone or treating someone differently just because of our ideas or different actions taken towards members of a specific social groups now let's have a look so discrimination on the basis of color caste race religion region etc gender also you can have a look on the picture that how the, all those persons are discriminating that person so whenever we find someone different from us we start discriminating that particular person so in kinds of discuss uh, prejudices and discrimination prejudice and discrimination can be based on color caste race religion gender and many other things are there so let's discuss these all one one by one when we talk about discrimination on the basis of color it means the color of your skin so don't you think that in many places of india people generally don't like darker skin tone it is obvious now huh, that many people do not like darker skin skin tone we always like suppose that if a parent want to marry his boy if a parent want to marry his boy what people prefer that a girl should be fair with fair skin fair fairer skin people are more beautiful in comparison to the darker skin people we are having this attitude so this is what is a discrimination based on the basis of color so when we discriminate people on the basis of their skin color this is what we call discrimination based on color now next is 
every skin color is absolutely beautiful we should not discriminate people on the basis of their skin color because everyone is beautiful and everyone is unique in their own ways now the next type of discrimination that we are going to learn is caste discrimination so students india is facing caste discrimination from more than 100 years traditionally indian society has been divided into different caste on the basis of occupation earlier the indian society was dis, uh, divided on the basis of different occupations that is brahmin kshatriyas vaishyas shudras and the dalits so the brahmins were the peace priest or the teachers or the gurus at the time those who were teaching or basically those who were priest means the one who worship in who take care of the temples and worship god kshatriyas were the warriors the kings the rulers those who fought in wars okay now the vaishyas were the merchants or the professionals now the last one was shudras shudras were the people those who belong to lower caste and these peoples were treated as minim minimal and they were provided minimal jobs that means the people those who belong to shudras community they used to serve as servants for all those three communities so it is like that only that brahmins were the superior than the kshatriyas than the vaishyas and the shudras were the most inferior one so these caste based discrimination was followed in ancient india even now also at many places lower caste people are being discriminated on the basis of their caste and this only results in untouchability so an extreme form of discrimination was untouchability that if we we start firstly to we are having that idea that shudras are not good they should not live with us all these things that comes to our mind they should be served as they should serve us as their we get owners so all these things comes to our mind so extreme form of discrimination was untouchability that we stop all those people to sit with us to use our water jo wells and all those things so according to this practice what is untouchability according to this practice we assumed lower caste people were considered impure and untouchable we cannot touch them and were forced to live outside the boundaries of the society they were not allowed to interact with people belonging to the higher caste and were denied opportunities of education and even religious worships also they were not allowed to go to temples they were not allowed to use public wells they were not allowed to use to study with higher class people so all these were the result of caste based discrimination when we start discriminating people on the basis of caste this is caste based discrimination now many people in our past or many social reformers worked in this field to abolish this caste system from the society or to abolish the system of untouchability from the society in those reformers ishwar chandra vidya sagar shri narayan guru mahatma gandhi and dr bhim rao ambedkar all of them worked the caste system to abolish the caste system as well as the practice of untouchability also so what we have seen here that how people were were treated or discriminated on the basis of caste now the next that we are going to see is racism that means people those who were discriminated on the basis of their race if we are talking about the word race that means a person who does not belong to the fairer skin tone or we can say that a person who belongs to other country that is why we are discriminating that person so people have different races different skin colors this means they have different skin color or they come from different country racial discrimination was faced by mahatma gandhi in africa 
when he was in africa he was discriminated on the basis of his race that means since he belongs to india and his skin tone was darker so at that time he was discriminated as black people against that he is revolted also so that is only racial discrimination when we discriminate people on the basis of their skin color or their nation since they belong to different country so we will discriminate that people that is racial discrimination next the most important discrimination is religious discrimination sometimes people belonging to a particular religion consider other religion to be inferior they try to impose their own thoughts and views on them and this is called religious discrimination so when people of the so called superior caste consider them superior and they start treating other people as inferior such an attitude leads to a lot of discrimination religious when it often leads to violence and extreme hatred actually and you have seen that sometimes this religious prejudices leads to extreme hatred actually and people start fighting among themselves just on the basis of their religion now gender based discrimination we have seen that how stereotypes how girls and uh, uh, men um, or men or women are treated differently in our society women are assigned the job that you have to do the household work and men should earn food for the family men should not do the household work or girls should not go out of the house for earning money or we can say that girls do not drive girls cannot do all these things girls are not physically strong so all these are the gender based discrimination in our country india from many years males are always giving superiority in comparison to the female but nowadays it is slowly slowly we can say that eradicating from our society now we are gaining gender equality also in our society so basically what we have learned the difference between the prejudices discrimination and stereotypes stereotype is an idea like people with pink hair are mean i when you start feeling that you are not going to like that person i don't like people with pink hair that is prejudice and what is discrimination it is action i'm not going to let anyone with pink hair at next to me at lunch that i'm not going to allow anywhere anyone who is having pink hair next to me for the lunch when we start discriminating it is discrimination when it takes the form of action when it is idea it is stereotype and when we start feeling bad about someone that is prejudice now inequality so students due to all these things prejudices discrimination and stereotypes we started treating people unequally that means that is only known as inequality due to all these things that is existing due to that only inequality arises on the basis of discrimination when we start treating people in an inferior manner or start disrespecting them and violate their basic rights the inequality arises inequality it contains a structured pattern of unequal distribution goods wealth opportunities rewards and punishments so on the basis of discrimination when we start discriminating people uh, from giving them food or you have seen inequalities that some people are very rich some are not that rich some are having big big houses some are not having that house some are living in huts and all that some are having lots of money some are not having that much of money also to earn their livelihood so this is only the things that girls are or women are discriminated at workplace also that men should be promoted or men should be paid more salaries all these are the kind of inequalities that exist in our society inequal means when we treat someone unequally unequal means if when such two people are not treated equally that is inequality now next what is equality since india is such a diverse nation 
so all these things can exist in india and that is why our constitution has come up with the idea of equality everyone us every one of us is having the right to equality according to the constitution of india now let's have a look what is equality in the constitution so students when india got its independence in 1947 the framers of the indian constitution since started framing the constitution of india that means the rules and regulation on which the country is going to run you have to keep in mind that dr bhimrao ambedkar was the chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution he has played an important role in the form formation of the constitution so bhimrao ambedkar is considered as the architect of the indian constitution that person envision that all indians should get equal rights and opportunities and be considered equal by the effort of bhimrao ambedkar only the idea of equality came to our constitution the constitution gives equal rights to men and women it gives equal right to men and women also and does not allow any discrimination on the basis of religion race caste sex or place of birth only for some sections now our constitution also provides some special privileges to some sections of the society those who belong to the backward section or those who are still in not developing according to the mainstream society so for them we are having some special privileges that is what we call reservation so that those people can also develop according to the mainstream people only for some sections of the society which have been traditionally denied rights to education earlier those who were not allowed to study the constitution has made some special provisions called reservations so what are reservations reservations are uh, is reservation is some or we can say that reservation are some special privileges granted by a constitution to to the underdeveloped society or the underdeveloped community of our society so that they can also develop so that they can work at par with the rest of the people in the society women and people belonging to the so called lower classes have certain number of seats reserved for them in government educational institutions and offices women were also treated inferior earlier so to develop women reservations are being provided to girls or women also in government offices or in colleges seats are reserved for them some seats are reserved for them also so for to ensure equality and justice our constitution has granted us fundamental rights we are having certain basic rights that is for everyone without any discrimination so this is what we call equality in the constitution our constitution provides us right to equality to every citizen of the country without any discrimination so that all of us can live peacefully and with harmony in our country now students we are going to learn about children with special needs now who are those kind of children those who are need special needs some children are special because they are differently abled so the students or the children those who are differently abled as you can see that they might move around in a wheelchair or with the help of crutches or they might need hearing aid to hear properly there are some children those who are different from us those who are differently able some are not able to walk some are do not able to hear properly okay so all those comes in differently abled or children with special needs some children are not able to see while some others cannot read or write fluently like their friends so these are the children with the special needs they are different from us they are different from the normal children so student these children needs lots of respect and care from us since they are different from us so some people start discriminating them since because they cannot walk properly or they start teasing them that hey, you cannot walk or you are moving with wheelchair so all these types of 
discrimination these children used to face so special children need our special care and attention they need love respect and acceptance by others we have to accept those children we have to treat them special we have to make them as our friend we have to help them in their activities we should neither take pity on them and not make fun of them just avoid all these things we should not never make fun of those students or those children it is important that differently able children do not face discrimination so earlier these students are also having schools those schools were known as special schools these children were also having schools they go to special schools that are meant for them the schools are with special features that can help special teachers that are trained to teach them so that they can study properly there but this also creates discrimination we were discriminating those children from the normal people so that is why the concept of inclusive schools started now what are inclusive schools where normal children study with the special children in your school also you have seen there are some special child those who are studying with you in your class so that is only inclusive school inclusive schools means where the special the children with the special needs get the opportunity to study together with other children are known as inclusive schools you can have a look on how inclusive schools work how the students with special needs learn with the normal ch children so we have to treat them with respect we have to be treat them with friendly gestures we have to help them in completing their work or we have to make them comfortable but so this is what we call the idea of inclusive school so that those students or those children do not feel discriminated since they are different from us so we have to accept these special children and we have to give respect to them here are some understanding based questions give some examples of gender discrimination write the types of discrimination you see around you who was the architect of the indian constitution name some of the social reformers who worked to eliminate caste discrimination from india so this is all for today students this chapter of civics is completed now thank you everyone